the game to really test people, you know. This game is gonna it's gonna test them so hard, then just not even gonna know what to do. We we still want good graphics because quite a lot of people care about graphics. Um which is kinda silly, but because at the end of the day, graphics, if you want good graphics, you can uh, you can go watch a movie or something, you know. Step outside. <laughs> Yeah, just go enjoy the fresh air. Uh, are we? Can we improve it anymore? No? Okay, fine. Finish. Right, let's see how the hot war does. A uh, new combo. Great combo. And a new record for technology. Perfect. Uh, didn't level anything up yet. Bit of a shame. But I guess it's time for reviews. Yes. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of tens. Eight played it for days. I told you this is uh, this is where it's at. I like it. Well, fuck you as well, informed gamer. Fuck you. Uh, shows potential. Okay. Well, clearly could have been more. So Star Games. He was really into it. Everyone else is a fucking satanist. Um, and let's just head on out and see how much money we make. Hopefully, we'll make quite a bit of money. Um, but I guess we'll see. Oh, while they're doing that, we'll research target audience. That give us a little bit. Of, oh, I just spent forty thousand on that. That's not bad. Seventy-five thousand from there. I think. I think we'll be able to build our engine. This. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, here we go. Come on. Nice. A little bit more money. More money. More money. Oh yeah. Let's build an engine. Custom game engine. VGNE. You know, video game nerd engine. Um, 2D graphics version 2 standard. We want mono sound. We want linear storyline. We want save games. And we want game pads. We're going full out on this engine. This is VGNE. Um, this is the first. I, I should have put V1. Because this is the first iteration of the video game nerd engine. But oh well. It'll be fine. Look at that. Look at that research we're getting. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. See me down there. Oh, casual games. No, we don't want casual games. We're no casuals. We're uh, we're not MLC. Major League casuals. We're uh, we're we're Is it e? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Um. So I'm pretty sure we won't have enough money to use our new engine yet. But let's develop a new game anyway for mature players. Um, it's going to be another strategy game because I know strategy games go over well with mature players and we'll make it medieval strategy and we'll call it um, Boulder Warfare there we go and for PC obviously because PC is where it's at game engine we'll use the VGNE there we go next uh, 2d graphics version 2 lovely you know what i might overrun into the red but that's fine if i do it just means that i'm doing it right so we're gonna have save games and we want a linear storyline as well oh yeah here we go yep yep that's fine the g64 is going out of business apparently unable to keep up with the pc market are we oh hello steve uh, he's a report from Planet GG. Yeah, I'll give you an interview. GG, son. Let's see what the interview has to say. So, yeah, we're making a mature game, strategy, medieval, boulder warfare for the PC. It's beautiful. Uh, we'll go for the same sort of mix again. Here we go. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Video Game Nerd Team. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Video Game Nerd Man, owner and CEO of Video Game Nerd Team, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take the risk to give it to them. Yes, yes we are. It's not a risk because I know it's going to work. Oh yeah. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We're curious to see how the market will react to these games. Probably something lines of Faggot, why don't you go home and <laughs> Fucking Call of Duty. Um 
That's... I'm not mad. I'm just... No, you're right. I'm mad. I'm a little bit mad. Uh, we want mono sounds. This is gonna take... This is gonna break the bra bank, basically. We're gonna break the bank, but that's fine. We'll up sound just a little bit. In fact, you know what? We'll go for... We'll go for mentals. Uh, we've got... See, we've both got 2D graphics and that. So, we'll have sound just a little bit less than graphics, but the sound itself is gonna be awesome. We'll take world design down a little bit, and we'll have amazing graphics and sounds. We're in, oh god, here we go. Up to 50k, right, okay. So, okay, we're at minus 10k. We're in the red, but that's fine because we've got a nice bit of hype. We've got a mature strategy game and we've got, we're breaking boundaries with our new engine and our new features. Ninvento is gonna release the Gameling. Yes, nice. I'm looking forward to playing it. Uh, okay. And finish! We're on 20 technology, 15 design. Come on, let's start. Oh, new records on both. Great combo. Level up on the engine, level up on the AI. We've got 2D graphics there now, uh, V2. And I've re reached level 3. Level 3 for episode 3, that seems fair. Better AI is available. And so is Joystick, nice. I kinda wish I had already researched them because now I have to build a new engine if I want that. First reviews for Boulder Warfare coming in. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 10, a masterpiece. Beautiful. Oh, truly great, come on. 10's across the board, come on, come on. Yes, another outstanding achievement. Come on, please, another 10. Give it, you fucking prick. It could have been so much. I could have got tens across the board, but you had to destroy my hopes and dreams. Why all games? I thought we were friends. <laughs> uh, well, a total score of 39 out of 40 is pretty, pretty fucking good. So we'll just see how the fans react now. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. 89,000 sales in the first week alone. Jeez. This is a massive... Look at that. We're nearly at a million. Scratch that. We are at a million. We're at a million now. We've made quite the name for ourselves and we've saved up a lot of capital. We can grow the company further and move into a new place. Perfect place in a technology park. Would we like to move? Well, now that's the question. Here's the thing. If we move, we'll be at the new office, which is, it's really nice, I'm not gonna lie. However, here's the thing. Once you move into the office, the operation costs become so much more because it's like at least 30,000 a month. Whereas the way we are now, it's only about 8,000 a month. So I think we're not gonna move there yet. Not yet, but soon. If we, if we can release another game like Boulder Warfare, we'll be laughing. Boulder Warfare, it hit the markets and quite frankly, it obliterated them. According to our market research, the recently published Boulder Warfare is a surprise hit with players. The developer video game nerd team is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Oh yeah, the news, know what they're... Uh... Oh, look at that! After that news report, we gained even more sales. Look at that. Lovely. Uh, let's um, do a little bit more research. Uh, new topic, aliens. Everyone loves aliens. And let's start some research. Oh God, this game is perfect. Look how good it was. We made so much money off it. Two and a half million. Let's uh, develop a new game. We'll aim it towards the young'uns. Uh, aliens, obviously. Genre, action. Action aliens. For the, um, what do we, do we want to make it for the test or for the gameling? Oh my god, the gameling's just come out. But, I mean, we've got, we've got the rights for the entertainment system. Whereas we don't for the gameling. It might have a higher market share. But I know that the entertainment system is 
it's good. So, in fact, we won't aim it towards younger people. We'll aim it towards everyone. We used the BGNE, and this is an alien game, so we'll call it. Um, uh, um, oh God, we need what's what's another word for alien? Because we've already had Alien Frogger, and but that was a that was a sci-fi game. We need something to do with aliens that isn't aliens. Illegal. Illegal. Uh, that isn't how you spell illegal. Um, well, that's embarrassing. Uh, we'll call it... Jeez, this is the hardest. If you have any ideas, right, for games, drop them in the comment section below. And I'll end up using them by about episode 5, probably. Because, I mean, I've been recording for the past 40 minutes. Which means that this will be cut up into a couple of episodes. Um, although, I, I, get, I think I'm going to record for about an hour. And then cut it into four episodes which means any game ideas you've got like you know genres uh consoles all of that names leave them in the comment section below um help leave a little synopsis because that would be awesome and i'll make them in my next get in my next playthrough um however now we're calling this game space uh alien a, a alien um, action Sp space alien action 17 no not 17 uh, space alien action that was a bad title let's let's try this one last time and if we can't think of anything uh then we'll go with space alien action no in fact let's just go with space alien action that was a good title i i shouldn't doubt myself space alien action t no, J. No, um, uh, colon, colon S. Action S. Yeah, that's space action S. So, so you can abbreviate it to SAS. Have you have you played that sassy, sassy new game? Oh yes, yes I have. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, it's an action game, so the engine doesn't need to be great. The gameplay needs to be amazing. And we need quite a bit of storyline. Uh, we want to have gamepad because this is the uh, this is the entertainment system. So of course we want that. And we've got save games and linear storyline. Uh, so video game magazines, nice marketing. We can research marketing now. Beautiful. I'll be able to know what's trending and such. Is it VGNM? I'm not sure. I think it might be. Uh, Bold Warfare sold nearly 3 million copies. Now, bearing in mind that this is like, I don't know, the 80s? That's that's impressive. Um, right, we don't need hella good artificial intelligence. We want level design to be fantastic. We'll take the AI down just a little bit. Um, and we'll go for dialogues and level design as amazing. Um, Space Alien Action S is gonna be, oh, it's it's gonna be a blockbuster. It's it's gonna break every bank worldwide. Um, we want, you know, what, let's put everything on equal for this one. Let's just see how that goes. You know, we're we're not gonna have anything over the top. Uh, we're just gonna go for a nice equal everything. Uh, let's work out some of these bugs. Come on, man. Why, why are you coding in so many bugs for? Thank you.